What's up, y'all? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing good. On social media right now, there's a lot of conversations going on around the Powerpuff Girls. The first I saw of these recent conversations started with this creator right here when she was talking about how the Powerpuff Girls would just pull up on Mojo Jojo and just beat them up for no reason. And then people started asking variations of who would you rather fight, the Powerpuff Girls or Batman? There was one conversation where they were saying, would you rather fight the Powerpuff Girls every day for 365 days or would you fight batman once a year for 10 years with a lot of people picking fighting batman because you can train for batman and a lot of stuff going down a rabbit hole i can see why the powerpuff girls would throw hands with anybody and everybody so many videos of course there's the videos of them getting on mojo jojo and we'll get to that they would go at anybody him like took over people's minds. I don't remember the episode, but the Powerpuff Girls just beat up everybody, everybody in anything. Even the mayor caught it. Like they were just throwing hands dude, with no regard. Family, friends, animals, throwing hands. What the Powerpuff Girls did to Mojo Jojo absolutely needs to be studied. This might be one of the most toxic, abusive relationships in cartoon history. Almost every time they pulled up on Mojo Jojo, they would whoop him. And bad, too. He was minding his business sleeping, and they pulled up on him and whooped him. Threw him against the wall and everything. Knocked him every which way. Bubbles was making fun of Mojo Jojo. And he said he doesn't talk like that. And they whooped him for talking back. Like, this needs to be a case study in cartoon history. A case study in cartoon psychology because I don't know if we've ever seen anything like what the Powerpuff Girls were doing to Mojo Jojo. They had a sleepover with Mojo Jojo. I don't know what transpired, but then they just started whooping on him. They were hitting him with the pillows. I guess maybe they were having a pillow fight, but they were hitting him with the pillows. And then at one point, they threw away the pillows and they started giving him hands, feet, anything. He had to call the police on himself to stop the Powerpuff Girls. But guess what? When they were taking him away, they still got their licks in. And look at the cop. Look at the cop's face. Look at the Powerpuff Girl's face. Insanity. The one where they pulled up on him in jail is just diabolical. This is probably the reason why so many people picked Batman over the Powerpuff Girls. Mojo Jojo was in jail. Or they put him in jail for stealing candy. They pulled up on him and they gave him the beats the beats hands and feet at one point buttercup is taunting mojo jojo telling him to go for something and he's like no no i don't want to when buttercup put her foot and kicked this man in the mouth i lost it i lost it there really needs to be a documentary on what the powerpuff girls were doing to mojo jojo we need an ESPN 30 for 30 on Mojo Jojo was the victim. Or Netflix and Ryan Murphy got to get together and do a monster series on the Powerpuff Girls. Because when it came to Mojo Jojo, they were deviants. Deviants and devious. It Craziness. Those 90s cartoons, those 90s and early 2000s cartoons, something else. Something else, because the Powerpuff Girls were true menaces. Like, they might be up there when it comes to menaces. Me, personally, I'm going to take Batman. Batman can do whatever he wants. I might get at least one licking on Batman, but I'm good on the Powerpuff Girls. I don't I don't need that in my life right now. I'm good on that. But yeah, they, they were some menaces, some true menaces when it came to cartoon history. Just insanity.